morning, you ladies. My name is Jack Except the Guy, and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. I've been waiting for some updates to come out for this game, and now they finally came out with the Snow Fox update. A new update is available for Subnautica Below Zero. Hit the read more. I don't hit read more because it'll take me to a website. Drive a snow fox through glacial basin, avoiding snow stalkers. Pin recipes avoid chasilerets. Those damn chasilerets always hanging around the mall. Um, but let's get in and try. I don't really know where any of this stuff is. Every time I start up a new thing in Subnautica, I never know where any of the content is going to be. So I'm hoping that the game kind of just nudges me a little bit in the direction I'm supposed to be going. Otherwise, I'm just going to be wandering around. And I haven't played this version, or like the Below Zero version, enough to know the map yet. So if there's any new stuff, I'll pass by it and just go, Oh, that's neat! I saw that last time! And then we're like, no, that's a whole new area. Um... But I'm excited! Because this one is still early access and we're still waiting for, like, content is still coming out periodically, I'm reluctant to just do every tiny update that the game has. Because then it just feels like, I don't know, there's not enough in each episode. So now that there's a whole new, like, vehicle and everything, that feels like there's enough to make a video on. So that's why I'm doing it now. Um, and I know that you can spawn stuff in, you can go into creative mode and spawn stuff in through the debug menus and all that kind of good stuff. But I also don't want to spawn in anything that's not fully in the game yet. I want to make sure that the developers have it in and it's ready to go and... My game's frozen. Can you not do that? Okay, it's loading again. It always worries me! Because I remember in the early days... Where, where am I? What, what have I done? <laughs> what is going on in my version of this? Oh, glow whales! Hell yeah! Uh, I remember in the early, early days of Subnautica, they just vanished. Where I would start up the game and just be worried that the whole game was going to crash, because that happened very frequently. And, funny story, my playthrough of the original game actually gave the devs some insight into how broken some of the features were and helped them, like, fix the bugs, so to speak. Because I would load in and the game would crash in the same place every time. And then it helped them figure out that, oh, there's a loading issue with the inventory. And they had to completely change how the game kind of saved some of its systems. So, that was good. Sucked for me, though, because I had to keep deleting a bunch of content that I had. Alright, I don't think the world is fully loading in right now. God, where am I? Well, nowhere good, Tito. Oh, God, go hell! <laughs> he wants to eat me! Jesus! <laughs> okay, <laughs> sorry! He didn't actually do any damage to me, though, so that's good. Oh, God! You're not supposed to be in there! Wait, can I go in? Oh god, now you're up on the top. <laughs> okay! You're just cause- you're just as confused as to what the hell is going on with you as I am. He was in the rock, and then the game was like, hey, that probably shouldn't be in the rock, and teleported into the sky. You okay there, buddy? Well, look at all the fragments that are around. All the fragments that I think I was trying to get the last time. Docking module fragment- wait. I can't remember which ones are which. I can't remember what ones I have. Oh, so that's new! That's why I was scanning it, because I was like... What was that? What are you? Oh god, you're terrifying! Oh, don't come this way, though. Sleeper module fragment. Yeah, these are new! I didn't have these before. Is this a new area? This is definitely new. Because that's why I decided to come down here, because I was like, that looks a little different than what I'm used to. And then all this- these pink plumes? Look completely different as well. These look like stairs. Can I scan this at all? I want to save, because I'm afraid that this is going to kill me. Ah, yep, yeah, definitely killing me! <laughs> okay, let's not do that again. 
Let's just try and go down and get these fragments. No wonder it feels like there's a whole bunch more fragments. Because there are. There's a whole bunch of more things that I can actually do. Nice of them to all hang around in the same area, though. So a sleeper module and a docking module. What does a docking module do? Shut up and find out, Sean. Okay. Okay, me. Oh, I'm gonna have to go back and get- <laughs> I was just about to say. I'm gonna have to go back and get oxygen soon. New technology acquired. Sweet! Oh, right there. Oh, I don't like- you got closer, didn't you? Mmm, curious George of sorts. Oxygen. I'm not gonna swim to the surface, I'm gonna swim here. Oh, man! So, the game warned me about new things and to stay away from them and not get killed. Um... Hello? Oh shit, I thought that that actually got his attention. I want to go scan him! But that will surely lead to certain death. Ah, well. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Ooh! Story text Glacial Basin. Cool! Sea truck docking module frag. Nice! New technology created. Thank you! Thank you very much. So those are the two new things then, right? I mean, there could be three new things. I don't know. People just told me that there was an update available, a big one. So I decided, okay, yeah, let's check that out. Oh, okay, let's save again. <laughs> oh, my toes are curling. Hi, are you a Chisiclerit? Where the fuck? Why can't I scan you? Okay, you're too fast! I didn't even- <laughs> Yep! Yeah. It's a cichlorite! Whatever the hell you are! Okay, go, go, go! Go, go, go! Oh, God! Oh, you sound so scary! Do I have to start the scan all over again? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Ah! Come here! Let me- let me scan you! Let me love you dearly! Go oh, Too close! Okay! <sighs> <sighs> okay, just go, just go, just go. <laughs> you actually almost got me. Woo! Oh, that clinched every sphincter that I have. <sighs> okay, what are you? <laughs> Chelicerit. Chesiclerit. I don't know how to pronounce it. Checklerit. Um... An aggressive leviathan with an enormous beak. Yeah, we been new. We have little further knowledge of this alien monstrosity at this time, and many on 4546B hope it stays that way. Assessment, avoid. Don't call it a monstrosity. It's a perfect piece of nature. Um, entrance to Glacial Basin. Okay, so I need to head that way. No, I need to head this way first and get the hell away from that guy. Sorry! Sacrifices must be made for the greater good! The greater good. <sighs> I know I play a lot of Subnautica, more than, more than most, um, but even now coming back to it and playing it again after taking such a long break, even from the last episode I did, which is, I mean, it's not that long, it's a couple of months, but even now I still get that, like, feeling up my back that something's, like, gonna grab me. Especially when you get back in and there's new stuff. Like, regular Subnautica doesn't scare me as much anymore because I kind of know where everything is now. But coming back into this one, I don't know what's new and I just don't know the map well enough, so I still feel like there's something lurking. There's something hiding somewhere. Let's get into my vehicle thing. I want to see what I need to make the sleeper modules and stuff. Uh, sea truck docking module. Advanced wiring kit, lead, plasteel ingots. That's not so bad. Wait, advanced wiring kits. What do I need for that? Sea truck sleeper module. You don't even have a picture for it. Why is it in the game if you don't have a picture? Um, plus healing get fiber mesh and lead. I might actually be able to make some of this right now. Plus healing gets is titanium and lithium. Ah, I'm a smart man. Fiber mesh. I think I actually have some fiber mesh left over. Advanced wiring kits. What do you need? 
gold computer chips. Oh, you are a pain in my ass. You know what? Actually, I was gonna just farm and make those things, but I don't think they're really gonna add anything right now. Um, so what I wanna do, I wanna go straight to the, the glacial basin. Oh, it's way down though. Does that mean I get to go up in the ice now? We, we've gone up in the ice at the start of the game and there's like little like ice lily pads basically that you can jump up onto but I haven't actually gone up onto the ice with anything and I guess if you have the snow fox the snow fox is the bike like the hover bike thing even though it's not really a it's not really a bike a bicycle oh god sorry I'm just destroying the ecosystem it's not really a bicycle if you don't have two wheels on it um, but I'm I'm excited about it because it looks cool and I've seen some footage of it like people spawning it in in creative mode I don't know that always kind of ruins the fun for me I like when the stuff is added by the developers to the main branch because then you know it works and everything I feel like I'm cheating the system if I just spawn it in for myself and then dick around in environments where I'm not really supposed to be because it's not there's no mystery to it then there's no excitement to it it's just there you don't really earn it you kind of just get it you know what I mean I feel like, in terms of games these days on YouTube, a lot of people just push straight for the most content they can get out because that's going to bring people into the channel and get them views and everything. Um, which I, I mean, I absolutely get. But I feel like it's just, it's going too far, too quick, too soon. It just, it ruins all the fun and everything. It's the same with like tabs. People immediately go and unlock everything and do the craziest shit possible because, I don't know, That that's what gets people to watch. I like- I like taking my time. I like exploring. I like uncovering the games, but there's no place for that in YouTube anymore. There's no place for slower stuff. Everything has to be now and instant and everything all at once. Because there's so many people doing it and gaming just doesn't get- gaming series just don't get the views that they used to for people, so people kind of shy away from them. Oh, can you even fit? Uh, please fit. Oh, why did I bring you here? This is cool though. Actually, I'm very glad I brought you here now because this is cavernous. Oh crap, I only have 20 power left. Good lord, this looks like going through the birth canal again. Oh. Stop it. This is complex. This is way more than I was expecting. I thought I'd just go through like a hole and end up somewhere else. Whoa. Oh, it's nighttime. Ah, oh, I hate nighttime. At least there's nice little steps that I can get up on. <laughs> Wait. Is that- is that the planet over there? Planet? No planet. Planet. No planet. <laughs> What was that? Oh man, it's so cool! This game is awesome! I have such a serious face right now! <laughs> hey dudes! Have I even scanned you yet? No, I haven't. Penguin. Bird-like creature. Hunt small fish below the water. Huddles in packs on the ice above. Consume small prey. Retractable tail and claws. Allows it for fast evasion. That's cool. Cuddlier than they look, is that what it said? Link would be so proud. Hop! Oh. Whoa! That looks like a stegosaurus! Are you one of the... What's it called? Snow stalker? Hey! <laughs> Wait. I have a- I have a perfect- Hey! You over there! He's not listening. Okay, well I don't want anything to do with him anyway, because I don't think he's going to be- I don't think he's really going to roll out the red carpet and give me tea. Where did that come out of? Are you a scannable thing? You are. A snow plant. This is not what I would call that. Just snow plant. Okay. Oh, that's what made that noise. Oh, you're cool. But also, 
<laughs> Being out here in nature makes me want to appreciate nature from a distance. Meaning that I like looking at you and you're, I think you're pretty neat. But also, keep a safe distance. It's snowing. Shocker, I know. Where did all this ice and snow come from? Snow? That's ridiculous. God, these are falling all over the place. Big base. Oh, the inside looks like outside. This looks like stars. A battery. Cool. Could you give me some, like, water or something, though? That'd be dope. Hover pad fragment. Whoa! Deployable pad which recharges and repairs the Snow Fox hover bike. Oh, neat! That's just a forklift. <laughs> um, I thought it, it was just going to be the same as every other vehicle. This is an interesting base. Man, it sucks that it's freaking dark in here. Oh, come on. Ah, uh, much better. Can I turn on? Excuse me? Those are steps! I would like to use the steps! Can I use these steps? Oh, come on! Ah, oh, my glankles! Can I not go up? That's a bunch of bullshit! Wait, is that actually the way it is, or is my game broken? I'm very worried that my game is broken. Well, there's a piece of reinforcement right there. Maybe this area just isn't complete. Hopefully there's no, like, the hover bike fragments up there. Ah, oh, so pretty. Ooh. Never mind. I found him. Okay, I need three. Should be easy enough. And if I get that, then I can actually just bring... Wait, should I make a base here? How do I build the hover bike? Because it's not going to hover on water. Ah, my glackles! New technology yes. acquired. How do I build it? Um... Should put you in five. Uh, let's look at it for a second. Hover bike. Snow fox. A battery, lubricant, and two titanium. That's all? Wonder if I need the pad first. That just needs two titanium. Man! I, like, need nothing for this. I can get the titanium just out of scanning those. Oh, I want it. Are you guys attacking each other? Be nice. Ah, oh, lubricant. <gasps> this is looking good. Don't get killed by floating icicles. More titanium. More titanium. Uh, Snow Fox hover pad. Oh, yes. Okay, so... God, jump on it. So you really are just for power. I don't actually need you to build the bike. So let's go back to my vehicle thing to build the bike. That would suck. Oh. Oh, this is... This sucks. The sound all cut out. Is it because I'm in a blizzard? Oh, this is scary. This is full-on blizzard shit. I can't see anything. Okay, sound is coming back. Am I out of the blizzard? Maybe I should have my snow fox to go around this, huh? This area is so cool. I want to scam one of these dudes. 
But I also don't want to die. Oh, are you stuck up there? A snow stalker. Oh, oh, oh big papa bear. No, oh, I'm gonna need more than fluids. Okay, 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 get away, get away, get away. Ah, is he chasing me? Okay, I'm fine. <laughs> Relax. A bear-like land creature which hunts in packs and can build up remarkable speed over the snow. Okay, so I'm glad that he didn't chase me then. Because he could have killed me. Everything in this game can kill me. Jumping a slight distance can kill me. Okay, plan for now. Yes. Oh god, I can't drop any distance, I'll die. Plan for now is to get back into my dude. Head to my main base, heal up, thirst up, hunger up, get the items for Snow Fox. Ah! Oh god, my glankles! <laughs> maybe build a Snow Fox back out there and then maybe it's something that I can like throw out or something. I don't know. I don't know how it works, but I'm gonna figure it out. If I can ever just get down from here without dying. Oh, this is bad news bears. Where are you gonna spawn me? Oh no! You're so far away! God damn it! Good lord! Come up out of the water! You would freeze to death here! Um... Okay, so the snow fox isn't here either. Where the hell do I build it? I just saw the snow fox hover pad. I have no idea. What what could I build it with? A regular fabricator? <laughs> Deployables? No. I'm confused. I feel like there's something I'm really just missing here. The snow fox is constructed on the snow fox hover pad, as well as being customized on it. Okay, so exactly what I thought from the very beginning, and now I'm all the way back here for no bloody goddamn reason. Good, 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 good me. Good, very, very- Kinda worried for my oxygen, honestly. I don't know if I'll be able to make it all the way down through this whole cavern again. I mean, these hoop fish guys. Titan whole fish, whole titan fishes. These guys have oxygen in them that I can take, but I don't know, man. That was a long cavern that I had to get through. If worse comes, oh god, it's getting dark. Oh, suck. If worse comes to worst, I can just reload where I was because I think I I saved last when I was through there on the other side. Okay, go deep down. There's a bunch of whole titan fishes down here. Why is it so dark? Ow! Okay, that didn't give me back all my oxygen, so I'm gonna have to do this. Okay, big plays, big boy moves! Okay, 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 all the oxygen's back. <gasps> Okay, I'm not gonna hold my breath for the entire time, like the game. You got this, Jack boy. No problems. Just believe in yourself. Believe you can fly. Lightning from your hands. Should be able to make it. I've I've pretty beefy tanks. Oh, as long as I don't go below a hundred. Oh wait, no, I should have the rebreather thing on, right? This isn't gonna work at all! This is so much further to go than I imagined! This is terrible! Whose idea was this? Oh, come on, baby. Come on, baby. I have 45 left! You can do this! You can make it! Please. Please. It's just right above me. It's right above me. That's all I need to do. It's right there. Please. Give me this. I don't ask for much in life. 30 seconds. I know! I'm gonna make-
make it! Am I? Oh, it's going down fast. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. <laughs> this is the biggest place of the century, boys! Oh, thank you. Jesus. <laughs> Holy Christ. That was epic! Alright, where did I put that bike plate? The hover pad. It was over here, right? Yeah, no, that's not it. <laughs> yeah, there it is. But... Are you saying you have no power? Or there's no power... I don't know how you work. All right, let's let's deconstruct you here for a second, because I I kind of wanted to build a base anyway. I want to see if I actually need power, which it seems like I do. I mean, I'm going to need power to recharge it anyway. Okay, there's just battery and lubricant lying on the ground. I mean, great for me, but who put those there? <gasps> ah, my ankles! Oh, look, it's a little pangling! I can pick you up. I'll bring you back to your mama. Okay, maybe I'll just drop you, because... You don't deserve this life. Go! Be free! Ah! Yeah! Sweet! Okay, I built a little base here as well, so I'll add to that later on, but... Ooh, I need two more titanium. Gosh dang it, guys! Okay, there's gonna be titanium around. Just stop free. There's one already. Stop freaking out. Keep it together. We'll get another snow fox fragment, and then we can just scan that, and that'll give me two. It's scary in here. Oh no. Oh shit, no, it's okay. <laughs> Is that one? Yeah. Nope, wrong item. Blah, blah. All right. Ooh, I'm excited to build this thing. Hopefully it just takes regular batteries, because that's all I have on me right now. I should eat some of my food. Even though that's decomposing, but it's whatever. Just think of it as eating ass, which we all do all the time, because we're gamers. Man, I love Subnautica. I love playing this. I love just sitting back, chilling out with the boys. Hell yeah! And 3D printing it. Is that a battery just hanging in the middle of it? Wow, you really take forever, don't you? Yes! Okay, huh? Mount hover bike. Ooh, baby! Yeah! Woo! Oh, this is awesome! Oh, it's gonna make me vomit, though! Okay, okay, okay. I think I was safer on foot! Jeepers, bice. Oh, this is very vomit-inducing. No, oh, don't go in the water! You probably can't survive in the water! Um, I don't know where to go in this area. Let's go back to where I was when I was flying over all that other section. Oh, oh, uh, ugh. Not a good thing for tight corridors. All right, let's let's get a little bit of power back. I want to see how this works. Ah, neat. And then this is where batteries go, I guess. Can I upgrade it? I don't know. Let me, let me get off it out in the out in the open. Access upgrades, yeah. Maybe I can actually make some upgrades right now. I want a jump module. I want to. I thought that the whole thing would be able to go like, you know. Is that too much to ask? Uh, done. Access upgrade console. I mean, oh yeah, done. Snowfa. What should we call it? Foxy? That's a little too generic. Um, I'm gonna call it Hank. 
Uh, the base should be... Green? Ugh, not that color. I don't know how I put upgrades in it then if the upgrade console is only letting me customize it. Whoa, 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 whoa! Did one of those geysers just push me into the air? Maybe that's how I do the jumps. This is super disorienting. I have no idea where I'm going. But let's go this way. I don't know what else there is to see around here. Also, this hover bike ends up becoming useless on like the water. But it's pretty dang cool out here. So, so this is the first time we've ever had a vehicle in the game that goes above ground. Well, I guess the prawn suit does, but the prawn suit's not really a vehicle. It is, but it isn't. Because it's me piling it, so it's basically just another giant human going around. Oh, this looks special. Is there going to be any more precursor stuff here? Because I would like that. Did I just do a big circle? Did I just do a big circle? I think I just did a big circle. Ugh. This game just does not like to load properly sometimes, does it? I think I just did a big circle. Oh, that looks important. How do we get up to Willy Wonka's chocolate factory up there? Oh god. Yep, just go! <laughs> don't even- don't even give it a second thought, just go! There's pieces of ice falling all over the place. This whole place is falling apart! Ugh, Jesus. Where even am I half the time? Okay, going up is good. Going up seems relevant to what I want to do. Oh, man. This loading coupled with this control. This is leading to bad news bears. Okay, so that's where I started. Okay, and... Geronimo! Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh! 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 God! <sighs> I think I'm in the right place. This looks good. This looks very good. Yeah, here's the bridge right here. Sweet. Nice. Please tell me it actually leads to something. I didn't just <laughs> get up here and go across this for nothing. Okay, I'm gonna get off. And repair this thing because I'm worried that it's just gonna explode on me. There you are, Hank. All back to normal. Good lad, Hank. Decent lad. I don't know if there's anything actually in this whole area other than what I've just gotten already. Oh, oh no. Thought I broke it. Thought I got it stuck in the wall. <laughs> Sweet mother of God, I can do flips! Yes. Now this. What is happening? I thought I went through a wormhole. I was gonna say, this is the good shit, but it's just nothing again. <laughs> that freaked me out though. Anything down here? Tall at all? Whoa! Giant skull! Hell yeah! Now this is the good stuff! This is what we all want to see! This is what it's all about! Can't scan you though, can I? A frozen skeleton. God, that's huge! Can you put something this big into the game? I mean, I know you have big things in regular Subnautica, but I want something colossal. Something absolutely gigantic. 
that puts everything else in the game to shame. Can I get back out of here? <laughs> That's awesome. I want more of that stuff. Well, I mean, it still is early access, so not everything is in the game yet, but... That's badass. Giant skeletons are cool. You know what's even cooler than giant skeletons? Giant skeletons with flesh on them that's alive and roaming around. I think I'm just back out again. Hi. Bye. <laughs> oh man, I keep thinking I see cool stuff in the distance, but it's just the game not loading in properly. What's up there? Is that even a thing? I think it's just... Ugh. I think it's just non-loading environment again. Oh, God! Ugh, the true enemy is the vomit we made along the way! Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. Take- take it easy! Take it easy! Mother of Christ! This thing's all over the shop, lads! She looks like a diner, but she handles like a bistro. Alright, just go go back into go back into this thing. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Ah, oh, I have my eyes back. <laughs> okay, well I'm gonna leave this episode of Subnautica here. Um made some decent progress. We got a lot of the new stuff. I think. Again, I don't really know the full extent of what's in the game right now, so please let me know in the comments what I may have missed around here. There might be something lodged away somewhere in this glacial basin that I just haven't seen yet. Or maybe I can use the hover bike to actually get in and go up in there now. I don't know, but we're going to figure it out and I want to see if I can get upgrades or anything like that, but this might be as much as in the game for the new update for now. I hope not. I hope there's more because I just love this game and I want to play more of it, but anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch the like button in the face! Like a buzz! And... Like a buzz on road. Whoopish! Whoopish! But thank you guys, and we'll see all you dudes! Thanks for the eye! Okay, give us a second. Everyone let their stomach settle.